I'm delighted and really honored to accept this award on behalf of the Ford Foundation and Luis Ubinas, its president. I also want to accept on behalf of our entire education team. The education work at Ford is carried out by an extraordinary group of individuals and organizations around the world, and we're all very grateful for this honor. Importantly, the NEA Foundation and the Ford Foundation share very important values. We both ground our work in a belief that education shapes the life chances of individuals as well as the well-beings of society. We both believe that marginalized and disadvantaged people have an absolute right to a high-quality education. and that education opportunities are essential to a society that's predicated on the ideas of economic, political, and social equality. In China, Latin America, Africa, as well as in the United States, the Ford Foundation supports education visionaries, courageous leaders working to ensure that all young people get an education that enables them to engage in meaningful work and lead meaningful lives. Our grantees are producing compelling new evidence and thinking, promoting effective and scalable practices, and generating demand for transformative changes in public schools. In the U.S., their efforts are today helping to build a movement for extended and redesigned learning time so that the most vulnerable American children get the schooling they need to, achieve, to contribute to a changing world. Our students and our teachers need time to succeed, and Ford is determined to help make that happen. These values and goals are also deeply rooted in the history of the NEA. You may not recall, I wasn't here either, but in 1904, Margaret Haley, who was a school teacher from Chicago and a pioneer in building teacher unions, spoke at the NEA convention in St. Louis about the importance of teachers organizing. This was 1904. In her address, she cited Horace Mann and John Dewey as she talked about democracy and equity, citizenship, and discussed the responsibilities of public schools to pursue social justice, and particularly to improve the lives of the poorest and weakest members of society. In fact, Haley said, and this is a quote, it is public school teachers whose special contribution to society is their own power to think, the moral courage to follow their convictions, and the training of citizens to think and to express thought in free and intelligent action. Margaret Haley could have been a Ford Foundation visionary. It is these shared values and commitments that make this award such a special one for us to receive. Thank you very, very much.